Uh, your uh, thoughts on uh, being a Dallas Cowboy and how you found out that mm -hmm. uh, you were moving to Texas? Uh, I was going to practice yesterday, and uh, they stopped me right before practice, and uh, they told me I was getting traded, called me upstairs, and so uh, I talked to Chris, and uh, he told me I was coming over here, man. It's a blessing, man. I'm excited to be here, ready to get to work, and excited to be a part of this team. And what were your perceptions of the Cowboys and Cowboy organization before you found out you were now uh, part of it? Um, I know it's a very popular organization, uh, the most popular football team in America. So um, I'm blessed to be here. This is an amazing opportunity to be here and play for this team. And so um, I'm hoping to thrive here. And I'm just going to put the work in and see how it goes. Obviously, you had uh, talent uh, in the cornerback room in Miami. You yeah. did get a, a lot of work with Jalen Ramsey because mm -hmm. he just got there. Then he had yeah. But being able to come into a cornerback room that features Diggs, Gilmore, can you talk a little bit about what that would mean to be able to contribute to that group? Uh, I kind of related to like when I got drafted. It was Byron Jones and it was Xavier Howard just kind of kind of coming into a room like that. And so with Diggs and, and Gilmore, guys who's um have experience in this league and played at a high level. I get to learn and groom and really develop and uh, kind of steal some things from them as well. And so we all get to kind of grow off each other. So I'm excited to be here. It's an amazing team. Uh, like you said, an amazing corner group. And I'm excited for um, getting coached as well. And uh, whatever they want from me, I'm going to do it. So you feel like this is a fresh start? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like I honestly needed it. Um, I'll just say like my career haven't, hasn't really gone up to my expectations. And um, I'm still young. And so I'm still 23 years old. I came in, I was 20 years old. And so um, there's a lot of stuff I went through, and uh, but now and, uh, it made me the man I am today, and uh, I get a new fresh start, new opportunity, new fresh faces, um, get to get my game, my respect again on a new team, and uh, show them what I can do. What excites you the most about working with Dan Quinn? Um, I, I feel like our um, he kind of lets up my game. Um, kind of when I. When I first moved to corner in college, it was really a man system, press corner man system, and um, they, they do a lot of that here. And so I get to really um, go back to what I was doing, not saying I wasn't doing that with the new um, defensive coordinator, Vic Fangio, but it was more um, sometimes we played off. And so, but you could press as well, but now um, it's really an aggressive defense, and I get to really um, show what I can do as it, as it comes to that, that aspect of the game. So. What do they, uh, they told you that they're expecting from you? Like, what, what do you think that your role will be? Uh, they haven't really told me anything. Um, whatever they want me to do, I'm going to do it. Whether that's special teams, whether that's defense, uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever they want me to do, I'm going to do it. I'm just I'm excited to be here. I just want to um, help this team and serve this team the best way I can. So. You're a heck of a kick returner yeah. at Auburn, so yeah. hope to have an opportunity to continue. Uh, to yeah, yeah, but we've we got a really good kick return and punt returner here, too. We've got Turpin, and so um, I've seen a lot about him. He's really talented, and so, but if that opportunity comes as well, I'll take advantage of it, so we'll see. And like uh, Trayvon Diggs, I think you have something um, similar in common in that. He started his career as a wide receiver yes. and then moved over. It looks like you did that as yeah. well. Was yeah. that for your freshman year? Can you uh, yeah. That transition? Uh, it was my, my freshman year in college, like you said, and then I moved my sophomore year. And then uh, those, first, those first two years was a little rough, I'm not going to lie, but um, I really didn't expect to come out my, my junior year, um, but I guess I was, I was really good at it. Ended up going first round, and um, you know the story, went to Miami. And again, it, hasn't really, it didn't really go like I planned for it to go. Um, but again, God has given me, blessed me with another opportunity, a new fresh start. I get to start over, start new, and um, show this coaching staff, show this team, and show my teammates, my new teammates, um, what I can do and, uh, so they can respect me and uh, trust me, most importantly, when I get on the field. So. What makes you most confident about this? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. Um, the stuff that I went through in Miami, it built me and it built my character. And I needed to go through that, honestly. Um, there, was certain, there was a certain standard of life I was living um, in college, and I thought it was going to translate to the league, and obviously it didn't. And so um, there's a lot of things just as a man I needed to learn. And like I, I said in, in the press conference in Miami, I feel like crisis really grows you. And so that crisis really developed um, the character I needed. And now, God bless me. I didn't even know this was going to happen two days ago. Um, but it's something I've been praying about, and um, I didn't even know maybe I was praying about this and praying for this, and God really blessed me and sent me over here. And so uh, I get a fresh start, um, new faces, and just like I feel like my past is like it's done away with. Now I get to um, start a new future, a new present, and just be in the present. Versus in Miami, I was constantly thinking about the past, and I think that kind of messed up my game when I got into the game and afraid to make mistakes, afraid to fail. But you know, you can't be afraid to fail in life. Like, you got to take risks, you got to go after what you want. And kind of like you said, like just moving the corner, that's a risk. Just playing corner in general is a risk. And so at that time, there was no fear because I was new at it. And so it was just all new. And so I kind of related to now. I get to go into the new once again and really um, see what I can do. And I'm excited, man, and I'm ready for it. Like I said, it, all that stuff built me for this moment me right here so it's a blessing.
so, so you feel you have a better foundation now yeah. to show who you are as a player yeah. than you've had at any other point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that really developed the character, like I was saying, that I needed. And um, now the vision and the dream and the goals I have for my life, for my career, I feel like it can really take place here uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. And again, whatever they want me to do, I'm ready to serve this team. Um, I, I'm just, I just want to be a servant. So whatever they want me to do, I'm going to do it. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. Can I ask one more?